Hello out there, comic book lovers. It is Friday. So you know what that means. I'm doing my Friday night reviews. I am going to take three com three comics from the previous Wednesday. So the three, what I thought were the best, and do a review of them. And then I'm going to take the one that I liked the least. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad, but it's the one that I liked the least. And uh, check it out. All right, happy Friday, people. It's time for Friday Night Reviews. So, this is kind of a weird week. I have two books that I could not decide which one I wanted to be the worst that I read that week. So, it's a tie. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Uh, so, I'm just going to do two this week. And... Uh, this word because I've enjoyed all the other you know, issues of these beforehand, but these ones just decided you know were just bad or are indicative of a quickly declining storyline. I don't know, but. Uh, I'm not sure. Can't tell you. So the first one this week that it was bad was Vamprella 14. It's 14 issues into the series and they're still sort of dealing with what was introduced in the first book, which was a plane crash that Vampirella was involved in. She was one of the few people who survived, so she is uh, going to see a therapist about it. The therapist doesn't believe that she is a vampire, so they've got the story with him and her. Uh, him, Her talking to him and him not believing her. There's some flashbacks to uh, what happened before, there's a couple of other little stories, but it's all contained, you know, within what's going on with the story, and then it involves, starts to deal with the relationship with her, with her mother, who happens to be involved with the plane crash somehow, and, uh, the last three issues are dealing with how, uh, Van Prella's mother, took over Draculon and how Vampirella was born and but it is still dealing with the plot of what you know how all this was involved with the plane crash uh, you know 14 issues I mean hell a lot of you know, maxi series don't even last this long and you know it, I guess it could have you know a lot of story arcs in these books will either just, you know, like this, will take, you know, three, four, five issues or then have a little bit of it and then you'll find out a little bit more of it later on after doing a couple of other stories. But this is just, this is getting, this is getting tired. I really want to see them move on to something else to do some other non-related stories because I like Priest's writing but it just seems to be dragging out. I don't know what the end game on this is uh, and I really just don't want to see this continue on much more. So I'm going to give this a 1.75 out of 5. Okay, so the second one for this week, oddly enough, is this has is the same subject matter, is Bleed Them Dry. This is number four, three, four, number four. Uh, it is a, a ninja vampire tale. 
Which, you know, when I read that on the first issue, I was like, no, oh, I've got to get this. You know, because I, I enjoy Vampire Tales. And, uh... So basically, this is a story about a city when the future, it's Japan, uh, vampires and humans live you know, peacefully, uh, and there's been some top uh, vampires are all of a sudden being killed by uh, hunters and stuff. And there's some betrayals and, you know, intrigue. And, okay, fine. The first couple, two, three issues were good. But in the third and fourth, it's just, you're getting a guy who is Yakuza from, you know, way back, like a thousand years back, because this obviously is set in the future. And it's just... Like the last half of this last issue and of three and then all of this one, it's just a kind of jumble of uh, jumbled information dump of stuff from the past and then you, you know, flip over to what's going on with someone else and then you come back and it's you know, more information dump and it's kind of garbled. I don't know. So, I'm not 100% sure of what is going on. And I think this may have been my last issue with this. I may go for number five, and if it's not any better after that, it's either this one or the next one will be my last one. So, I'm going to give this a 2.5, or 2.0, 2.0 out of five, and uh, say, nah. Anyway, what do you think? Uh, have you read it or read either one of them? Do you like what I'm, what you've been reading? Do you not like what you're reading? So, uh, let me know in the comments below. Enjoy your comments.